is going to the dogs. We tour a beautiful home designed with pet lovers in mind, and it's all part of a new design trend. Hi, my name is Dawn Hamilton with Dawn Elise Interiors. We are a high-end interior design firm specializing in luxury commercial and residential properties. I love pets, I love designing for pets, so I like to make all my designs as animal friendly as possible. Most of the work I do somehow has to accommodate animals, honestly. See how Dawn was able to design this home without sacrificing style or comfort on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. The owners of this home wanted to create a comfortable and stylish space that would withstand the test of time. But this was no easy task due to the four-legged members of the family. This 3,200 square foot home has three bedrooms and four bathrooms. Dawn updated this entire property. She created elegant spaces using materials that hold up to the wear and tear of pets. Dawn, welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you so much, so happy to be here. So we're excited to have you here today because you're gonna share with our viewers some tips for I think one of the hardest things to think about when you're designing your home. How do you keep the house having comfort, style, and be pet friendly? So this is gonna be an exciting journey touring this beautiful home with you. Thank you so much, I'm so excited to show you my ideas for pet friendly, beautiful living. It's a great topic. So what tips can you share with our viewers on starting with the floors? What types of materials are best? Well, people tend to go right for hard surfaces like porcelain or stone, easy to maintain, easy to um, you know resist, stain resistant and easy just to keep looking good. But they are also very hard. You can hear pets walking across them. There are reasons that one might not want a, a hard surface so for So what did you use here? This, this is, is not an engineered wood. wood. Yep. This okay. is an engineered wood. Um, we chose something with a bit of distressing so that if anything happened and there were any accidents, it kind of added to the patina as opposed to make it look like it was ruined or destroyed. That is a great tip because you definitely, I think one of the concerns when people are picking wood flooring is the scratching. This distressing is a key tip and then any other things with the finish. Definitely distressing and a, and a more matte finish. I believe that you'd be, it'd be harder to maintain a floor that was very shiny because the scratches, often it's the outer layer or the urethane layer of a shiny surface that gets scratched. So that's great. So we started with our floors and now let's talk a little bit about sort of the, the layout and the furnishings you chose to bring in the pet friendly feel as well as creating a luxurious and beautiful living space. Well, thank you for the compliment on the space. The form and the shape of the furniture here is more formal than the fabrics. The fabrics, although they look beautiful, most of them are synthetics, they are very durable performance fabrics. But when you have a more elegant shape to the furniture, you can dress up something that's not necessarily where you would go to right away for a, a more formal look. And then there's leather which is always an easy choice. Again, I suggest something with a little bit of distressing because anything too pristine. Claws or anything that could get a little, so this way the scratches become the beauty. Exactly. Anything else that might be good for our viewers to take home thinking about when they're designing for pets? Well, definitely you should think about weave. Anything with a really big, chunky, open weave, particularly with cats, can they be can an pull issue. And, they, cause and, they, and it just attracts them to pull it. You know, sometimes you just can't. Okay, they're animals, you can't stop them from doing what they're gonna do. So tight woven fabrics like this here. That won't pull easily should a claw or something get underneath Same the Same with the rug. With rugs, you have to understand with pets, they are disposable things. From a budget standpoint, it's different for everybody. Right. But I believe if you have multiple pets in your house, there's no way to have a lifelong rug. And so be it, we love our pets. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's a great philosophy. And, and this, this goes for anything, and I always also share with 
clients about whether it's young children, whether it's pets, whether it's you don't want to be worrying about potential spills and stains on a very expensive carpet. I absolutely agree. Dawn, what I love about this space though is the way you really created such an elegant yet livable, comfortable, beautiful area for your clients and their pets. And we are gonna check out more of that when we come back. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, designing entertaining spaces that also welcome your pets. I'm Tat with FHIA, and we're going to look at why this homeowner decided to change out these large picture windows on today's Sofla Home Project. Welcome back to Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're here with Dawn Hamilton Hi. of Dawn Elise Interiors. And before the break, Dawn, we were discussing how you brought in pet friendly decor options in your client's beautiful home. And now we are continuing that theme as well as the uh, coastal decor of the home in the formal entertaining area. The bar area is one of the favorite spots for the whole family to gather. So I love what you've done here with this bar, from the finishes to all of the decorative elements. Share with our viewers some tips first for bringing in a little bit of a coastal influence and then how you've made it more pet friendly. Well, I think the color palette really informs the coastal design. It's nice, neutral colors from nature always kind of create an inviting and soothing space. Absolutely. We tried not to be too obvious in our references to the coastal design, like fish or anything like that, but we did use shell wallpaper. This is mother of pearl Love wallpaper. This. So it's such beautiful paper, really. Adds a little bit of shine. The Hones marble also has a very natural, soft feel to it. So I think that using those elements really helps enhance the coastal design. And then for the dogs, again, we have the leather seats on the bar stools. We have metal legs on these bar stools. Can't so chew those. Can't chew those. <laughs> if you do, you're losing some teeth. So, But a uh, great look, too. A great Adorable look. and beautiful. Yes, and very just, again, uh, this is a bar. People are supposed to hang out, have fun. It's not, this is not an uptight house, an uptight space. People should relax. Casual elegance. Casual elegance and, and relaxation. And again, that goes back to choosing finishes and elements that you can live with with your pets. And you don't have to keep your pets away from them and you don't have to live on edge because your pets are in that environment. So choose your finishes wisely. Absolutely. Is really the uh, whole thing when it comes to designing for pets. Now, Dawn, we talked about seating over here for the occupants of the home, but not all occupants. And we are going to show what you did for the dogs to have their own seated area. But first, let's see what Tac Renata from FHIA has for us today. This is another great example of why the in-home consultation is really important for you to have a great and successful home improvement project. When we met with this homeowner, they immediately brought us to this area to talk about what to do with these windows. They're not that old, the home's not that old, but they put in windows that still needed hurricane protection. They also weren't with, happy with the divided light design of the window with the uh, colonial grids in the windows. And they wanted to make sure they could do something that was energy efficient as well, because a lot of the heat and the natural light that comes into the space, they wanted to make it a little bit more comfortable so that when they spent time in the living room, that it, you know, it was certainly more comfortable. So we looked at several different windows and one of the things that they expressed that they really liked about the experience was, we showed them different windows from different manufacturers. We went over everything from aluminum frame options to vinyl frame options, really listened and understood what they're really trying to accomplish. Everyone wants a great installation, but from a product standpoint, they really wanted to know everything that was available without a bias to one or the other. So by listening to the homeowners and really helping them identify what was best for them, they ultimately decided on a vital product, which is gonna give them the energy efficiency they were looking for. Uh, also the hurricane protection, they went with a solar max technology, which is gonna reflect the heat away from the home, making the space more comfortable, and they got really good hurricane impact glass. So based on everything they saw, they felt that was best for the space. We also decided to order the windows 
without the divided light, so it was just the clean glass, which is gonna give them the look that they were looking for cosmetically. So they wanted the hurricane protection, they certainly wanted energy efficiency, and they wanted a more natural, clean look on the glass. So with the decisions they made, everything will get accomplished for them, and they're gonna love how everything turns out. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Kat. So Don, you were sitting in the premier seat in this house. <laughs> a great little window seat, but for the dogs it's in perfect. this house, this is their seat, this right? This is their perch. <laughs> and they can sit and monitor who's coming in, who's going out, get some sun, it gives a little breakout space from the bar. You can sit here and have your cocktail and the dogs will sit right next to you and keep you company. Best view in the house, right out the, the front window, can keep watch, <laughs> it's a great spot. <laughs> what do they say is not drinking alone if you're drinking with your dog? <laughs> so what's so nice about this too is the way you've utilized fabrics that seem like they would be a, more of a tight woven fabric. T tight woven, very durable. There's actually a Teflon coating on this fabric as well. So you so can go one step further and really protect your fabrics for your pets or any spills. Absolutely, and right, As because the there's, there's food, yes. there's drink happening here, and then throw pillows to dispose of all Makes like everything someone. pretty. Yeah, and then, you know, if one gets ruined, you toss it. Aha, uh -huh, the toss pillow, and you get a new <laughs> one. <laughs> you just... Sorry, I was like a bit late. I like that. I like that. Okay. You know, so again, keeping things disposable, changeable. Again, these are loose cushions. If right. there's a terrible accident, you, you just make a new fix cushion. It. Now, know? do these cushions lift up? I they feel do like... lift up oh, and there's yeah. storage underneath too. But we have what we have done is we have attached them with Velcro to the yes. top of the, of the cabinetry so that the dogs don't push them off. Because, I mean, that also, on the flip side of the throw pillows, it could be very annoying if the dogs will mess them up. I mean, dogs Right, so you want it, something secured really well to the seat. There's a great tip to our viewers at home. If you're gonna do anything like this, make sure the cushion is pretty firm. Yeah, it has something anti-slip on the bottom of it. Okay, great. No, I love this, and it's such a nice, it's a, such a nice use of a corner. I think as a design tip, not just a pet-friendly design tip, is using every inch of space in the home. Coming up next, we have more elegant, pet-friendly spaces to show you. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're here with Don Hamilton Hi. of Don Elise Interiors. Don, before the break we were talking about how you designed your client's formal living room to be, of course, beautiful and stylish, but pet friendly as well. So that being our theme today, we are now in the, the office. Don, I love what you did in this space because it, it's a home office, but it feels so serene and keeping in theme with the rest of the interior we've seen so far. Very beachy, coastal, Absolutely. beautiful hues of greens and blues, but it's also pet friendly as well. Absolutely. Picking things that have a little bit of distressing to them already really help one not be so worried about accidents and things that happen when we have our four-legged friends with us and we can't always control what they do. So that goes for floors. That goes for floors, fabrics, fabrics wood it's leather, wood finishes. Again, with the tight weaves, if you look at this desk chair, it's a very tightly woven fabric, so should nails get into it, it's not going to pull it. Dawn, so while having pets is wonderful in a home, sometimes they can get a little loud. And in this day and age, when we're doing so much virtual work, what are some tips you could share on kind of make the sound a little bit less? Whenever possible, you should have a door that you can shut. We've all seen it on TV and it's happened to most of us. We're right in the most crucial part of your Zoom call, the dogs start going crazy. So, or making a cameo. <laughs> exactly, or just walking across the desk. So having softer materials in your office, great such rugs. as rugs, maybe drapery, if that works for you in your space, um, is also very important to kind of keep the noise out or in, depending on what your needs are. Here, as opposed to in the living room where the window treatments are very delicate, 
These plantation shutters that we used in this room are a perfect window treatment for any type of pet yes. because they're very durable, cleanable, and these are faux wood shutters, which I usually always recommend if you're going to do white because you really can't tell the difference and they're more budget friendly and we were able to get the really wide slats here so a lot of light is still being let in. And it also really brings in the beautiful theme of the design and that coastal elegance. Thank you. And Dawn, I wanted to share with our viewers maybe a tip or two about the, the rugs. We talked about, of course, we don't want loops and things like that. But is there any suggestions you might have to share in terms of picking patterns? Do you want to go more with pattern stuff? Absolutely. Uh, certain textures that are yes or no? In general, I think that it's important to consider these things both in fabrics and in carpets. Yes. Pattern, something with an all over pattern hides a multitude of sins. You are able to, if, if a little stains are less noticeable, if there's a subtle pattern running through the fabric or the flooring. As well, a mid-tone is usually the way to go. If it's too light or too dark, dark shows hair, light, light shows stains. <laughs> if you choose something that's a mid-ground, it's much easier to maintain, and that goes for pets and just dirt in general. Well, that is great advice, because I think a lot of the times, people may not realize when they're choosing something and love to go with a darker color, and they might have a dog where they shed, and then suddenly it's no longer a good option for their home. Absolutely. Next on SoFlo Home Project, we check out the perfect master bedroom for pet lovers. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capper, and we're here with Dawn Hamilton from Dawn Elise Interiors. And we've been touring this beautiful home that she designed, talking about ways to incorporate pet-friendly design into a home. So not just making it beautiful, but making it great and durable for our four-legged friends. Fun so, for the whole family. This beautiful home would be nothing without a grand master suite. This is the perfect retreat for homeowners and their pets. One of the most stunning features of this particular bedroom are the windows. So window treatments were going to be tantamount in the design. I here chose a fabric that's washable. It, Love this fabric, by the way. It's so beautiful. I think it adds to the soft, casual elegance. We also used the distressed wood floor, the synthetic carpets with no loops, the distressed leather, and then we have elements that are specifically for the dogs, like this trunk. Yes. which gives them an ability to jump up on the bed and they've got this soft landing spot. Now, I've noticed you've done some great things with patterns and prints, and we talked about that earlier on how the, they're a little bit more forgiving. So this, the sheer, the drapery, and of course the rug here too, you didn't go super solid and plain but you gave it a little bit of a, a nice pattern to be hide kind of hide if you ever yeah. need to. <laughs> yeah, just kind of hide things if th things need to be hidden. Um, and even the bedding, it's all custom, but it's all washable. So that is just, a, all animal lovers know the Easy bed. Easy to maintain yes. fabric. <laughs> Absolutely, and everything needs to go into the wash sometimes. So, so. <laughs> great advice there. <laughs> In here, is there any other tips that you might share with our viewers on maybe other finishes or other accent furnishing pieces when thinking about making more of a pet friendly area in your bedroom? Well, again, as we discussed earlier, I really think that the distressed look is the way to go. You don't want anything that's too pristine. So the bed, the finish on the bed Great is finish. like a driftwood. Again, back to the kind of coastal element, choosing finishes that don't have to look perfect all the time because life with pets is not always perfect. No, that's great. That's a great thing right there because it, it allows you to make it livable. So as designers, you know, we love wallpaper. I mean, who does wallpaper. not love designing with wallpaper? Love you wallpaper. have a beautiful wallpaper in here and there's been some throughout the home. What are some tips on choosing wall coverings that may be a little bit more forgiving or pet friendly? Absolutely. You definitely have to think about corners. If your pet is a chewer, you have to think about it. If your cats are going to scratch the wall, grass cloth is not going to be for you. A vinyl alternative is great. As you can see, this wall covering look, get, mimics the look of grass cloth or yes. silk, but it is vinyl and wipeable and cleanable. And I love what you did here because you found a space, again, behind the bed, probably the best area to do that. It's not as accessible to the wall, and you framed it out 
between two walls so you didn't have any open edges. Okay, right, open edges are always dangerous with wallpaper, no matter, no matter if you have pets or not. So being able to contain the wallpaper between two walls or where you're not going to have an edge that's exposed is always the best way to go about things whenever possible. And I think one thing to really keep in mind with pets is just they're not perfect. You're going to have accidents. So design your home so you are going to be comfortable and your pet is going to be comfortable. Absolutely. And Dawn, I don't think you could put it any better than that because whether it's a home with pets or not, you want to enjoy your space, live in it, make it beautiful but also comfortable and functional absolutely and you've done exactly that here and thank you so thank much for you. joining us oh, today you're welcome and sharing with our viewers so many great tips on making your home more pet friendly and stylish thank you and now let's check out what we have for you next week on sofla home project thinking of updating your home we take an in-depth look at design solutions for the kitchen bath and beyond and now let's check in with our friend Hunter Frankie, the host of SoFlo Health, and see what he has going on tomorrow. Hunter, what's up? Hey there, Elena. This is an acorn squash, and we'll show you how to make it an interestingly tasty and healthy treat using your air fryer. In fact, if you impulse bought an air fryer and haven't used it yet or don't know how to make it healthy, you'll definitely want to watch tomorrow. Plus, Martin Gelbspan joins us for the side kick through. He'll show you how to work up to it, whether you're a beginner or an expert, and trust me, it's quite the exercise. Dr. Sam also joins us and talks to us about the health benefits of just living here in South Florida, getting outside and enjoying the sun and the sea breeze. You won't want to miss it. It's all right here on Local 10 tomorrow at 12.30 for SoFlo Health. Thanks, Hunter. We will definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, thank you so much for joining us this week. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like SoFlo Home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram.